Welcome to St. Louis. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. The Blues can close things out with a win tonight, but how important is it to not think too far ahead, Ray? It's only about tonight, but if you win, you punt them to the curb and you get to get through healthy and rested. Two teams hungry for two points and we are ready to drop the puck. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building and we are underway. A chance in front. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Quick pass to Schwartz. Puck grabbed by McKinnon. Moves it to Landeskog. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here they come. Puck picked up by Graves. Moves it quickly over to Landeskog. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down. Now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. Colorado sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, there hasn't been much to choose from in the two teams so far. The game is still scoreless, of course. But here's a power play. You've got a chance to change that in the next couple of minutes. Gets it out of his own end. Quick feed to Comper. And now it's grabbed by Nachuskin. Nice pass. And that's blocked away. The Avalanche have taken to the offensive attack. Stones up with the blocker. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Stays with it. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Off his stick. Stones him on the play. Bozak's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Rister, big save. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Avs gain possession along the wall. St. Louis gets a strong effort from the PK unit as they kill it off. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through the fingers. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle penalty coming up. The Avalanche have been handed a two-minute penalty for holding. He's trying to slow him up, trying to impede his progress a little bit, but he gets too much of a grab, and now he'll go to the box. The Blues will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. They haven't had a power play yet. The game's scoreless. This is a fantastic opportunity to break the ice. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. St. Louis will play it from behind the net. The Blues take it across the line. Here's the pass. He scores! Now the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. bang play the goalie's got no chance when you're in that close and you get the chance to one time it you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie the blues take a one nothing lead here early in this first period what a way to crank up the crowd you get yourself on the board early st louis will go to work as they win the draw moves the puck along the half wall settles things down and gets control of it once again denied that one Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. 
Nice zone entry from the middle. Time to the goal. Here's a short pass. He scores! Miko Slavi! Miko Randy makes the count! Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We got a tie game. Colorado's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Slides into Graves. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. With possession along the wall. Almost lost the puck but hangs on here as play continues. With the backhander, turns it away. Moves it over to Sanford. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Sanford's got the puck. Taken by Graves. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Coughs it up at center. That knocks him off the puck. And now it's grabbed by Kadri. Battle along the boards. makar has got it now deep inside his own end. Burakovsky's picking up steam, and he regains control of the puck. The Avs looking against the half wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Avs have it against the wall. Kadri's got it in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by O'Reilly. Slides it across to Perron. Can't connect. Quick pass to Perron. Oh, you could feel that from up here. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a pass down low. Takes the feet at the back end. Here's a chance in front. Made that stop. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Scandella's trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming. But man, does he get level. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Slides the puck over. And the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one. Scooped up along the wall by Donskoy. Just gaining momentum. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Scandella's caught with the stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. Jost's going off for hooking. That's kind of a bad penalty to take. You reach out with your hands and the referee sees your stick parallel to the ice. He's gonna call it most times. Power play unit going back to work. Sometimes it's just your night and the way that they've performed on the power play, it kind of feels like they're gonna get another one. Colorado's looking to break out. And they move the puck out of harm's way. St. Louis has possession of it now. Looking to set up offensively. Colorado's got possession while undermanned. They move the puck out of harm's way. St. Louis has it behind the cage. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Puck grabbed by Calvert. All alone! Oh, what a stop! Goaltender comes up big in good position to make the save. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. A stick between the player's feet. The Blues with a two-man advantage power play coming up. Oh, penalty killers don't have many options here. You've got to nestle in close to your goalie. You cannot be too aggressive or you get caught chasing the puck. Big save by the goaltender once again. No, sir! That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Schwartz. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Manages to hang on. Denies him with a kick save. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. St. Louis takes...
takes possession along the wall and tries to make a diagonal pass to Schwartz. Centering pass! He scores! Breaks the deadlock! Really good play at the net. And now somebody's got to leave, and we'll see if they can increase it. And the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. St. Louis has looked good right from the get-go, and that's a big reason why they lead here. They came to play. They were sharp right when the puck hit the ice for the first time. Now they're a half a period in, and they have the lead. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. The blocker saved by Bennington. Schwartz is brimming with confidence now. The point streak will make you feel like you're going to score every game. St. Louis has been the better team offensively. More shots, and as a result, more goals. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. The Avs look to start the transition game. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Taken by Krug. Takes the feed up ahead. Barbashev's got it across the line. Slides it across. Oh, what a save with the stick by Grubauer. Smothered that in close chance. Big time stop. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. And he slides it quickly to McKinnon. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. From point blank range, he scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. More than half the period has expired. It's all tied up. Bozak's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Slides it diagonally to Saad. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. He's going off for tripping. And doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? They'll go back to work on their special teams. Well, we get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And a nice job by the killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. The Avs take the puck through the neutral zone. Colorado's got it along the wall. Pinned up along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Nachuskin and makes the save. The setters will glide into the dot. Steps in and takes the puck. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Now he takes it over the line. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here he is in close. Fantastic save. Taves moves it ahead. Moves it to Kadri. Sends it across. Off the outside of the iron and will play on. Colorado's had poor luck tonight. Another shot beats the goalie and wins the pipe. Grubauer's been taking dangerous chances and throwing them to the curb all night. Here's another one. 
James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We are all tied up in this one. Colorado's got it in the offensive zone. And the PK unit gets their man out of the box. Off the post! So close to jumping into the lead. That shot hits the goalpost, and the game will remain tied. And we got a leader as he tucks it into the net! These teams are jammed together. That goal might open it up. That's about as lucky as you can get. You need some puck luck most of the time to win. There's a good chunk of it. The Avalanche have been preaching good starts. They've got the one goal lead here now, Ray. And now still be aggressive because while you have the lead, it's a good chance to try and stretch it out. Puck picked up by Graves. We'll get a face-off, and some lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. by number 92, Time of the goal, 15 minutes, 6 seconds. The Blues continue to trail despite multiple scoring opportunities here in the late stages of this first period. Nice job tying up his opponent. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Puck dumped in. Colorado's got it behind the net. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And that one's turned away. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Into the offensive zone. Excellent stick work on the play. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Not able to connect. Slides it across to Burakovsky. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. They go on the attack through center. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He scores! Jumps all over his rebound and puts it in. He gets in so tight to the goaltender, the goalie's backed up towards the goal line, but he still makes a nifty move. Beats him on the backhand. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Colorado's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Wait up front, and they can't connect. Loose puck battle along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Perron. Quick feed. What a great read breaking up the pass. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. And now it's grabbed by Perron. And tries to make a diagonal pass to O'Reilly. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Bortuzzo. Pokes it away in his own end. And now he angles it across to Perron. Moves the puck over to O'Reilly. The Blues have it now. Tries to feed it over to Taves. And that one's broken up. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. And now he moves it to Bozak. A little rock'em sock'em on the play. The Avs carry it along the wall. Stick collapses. Oh! So frustrating. You're in position. You've got the shot. Your stick gives out. Takes a hit but still hangs on to the puck. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Slides it quickly to Comper. Across the line and on the attack. Puck grabbed by Comper. St. Louis gets a hold of it. Slides the pass over to Barbashev. And he coughs it up with the pass. Tries it to the crease. That's a good scoring chance too, James, but that puck's got to get on the net. He just missed. Play continues here. There's the horn for period number one. Holy moly, what a shootout here in the first period. Look for our food donation boxes located throughout the country.
Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway. The Blues win possession here in the open ice. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Oh, one of the net! You kick yourself in the tail, Waffy. You miss a chance. Look, oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle stopping the play. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty, the hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. Colorado's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. When you think about it, James, each power play is a different book. One shouldn't really... Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Referee blows the play dead. Another penalty coming up, and that'll do it for the power play. Referee Gilles Levesque calling holding here on this one. Yeah, he didn't hesitate either, James. No. It's like as soon as the player got close, it's like you could tell there was something going to happen. It's a holding call. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. I love how four-on-four four play has evolved. It used to be race up the ice and shoot the puck. Now teams and players are way more comfortable holding the puck and waiting for the play to develop. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Can't keep a hold of it. The Avs move to the offensive zone. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. Here's a shot. Makes the save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 4-2 is the score. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Through center along the wing. Centering pass. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. And now he tries to get it across to Pareko. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. The Blues now have a short power play after the penalty expired. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Power play is over. Both teams back to even strength. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You had lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. What a steal in his own end. Pushes it across to Thomas. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Jost. Strong defensive effort. Maintains possession. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Bennington. The centermen glide into position. The Avs win the faceoff. Colorado's got possession here in the offensive zone. With the steal. Moves it quickly over to Comper. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Here's a chance behind the net. On the doorstep. And they can't convert to the play. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Shot. And he makes the save. Taken by Perron. And it's a quick pass to Bortuzzo. Tease him up. That's blocked. Trying to get the puck away from the inferno here. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Blues gain possession along the wall. St. Louis looks to go on the attack. Grabbed along the board by Burakovsky. Delayed penalty coming up here. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Makes his presence known on the ice. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. Bertuzzo's mugging of the player pretty cut and dry on this one, holding the call.
Well, next time he's going to have to find a better way to get in front of the player. He reaches out and grabs him. He'll go to the box. I feel like you could have got away with this back in your day. You could get away with a lot in our day. <laughs> The Avs take possession off the faceoff. Puck picked up by Steen. He takes a moment to backtrack but maintains possession. Fires it into the offensive zone. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Blues take possession in the neutral zone. And now it's grabbed by Kadri. Can't keep a hold of it. The Blues will play it in their own end. And we'll get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a souvenir. Nearing the midway mark of the period, it's 4-2. Colorado's won it. The Blues pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Chase from along the wall. Denies him on the slapper. Centered out in Whoa. front. Scores with the man advantage. Over the last couple of games, the signs were there that this power play was going to break out. They start to move the puck around and don't score. Tonight, they move it around and they do cash in. good maneuverability in a tight spot down by the net he gets the pass and he one times that in from the low slot Colorado's on a roll tonight they extend the lead here in the second everything they do is better than the other team tonight this is a domination performance Puck scooped up by Girard. Sent into the offensive zone. St. Louis has it behind the net. Shen's lugging the puck. Sends the pass over. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Taken by Tarasenko. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Works it across to Shen. Handles the puck. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Schwartz is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Takes the feed from the left side. Here comes the call. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. He steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. I'm not so sure what they looked at in the penalty killing meeting, but the only thing they've done really well tonight is dig the puck out of the net as this power play gets another chance. They've been so good tonight. Still lots of time left here in this frame. No shortage of offense, most of it from one end. It's 5-2. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Let's it go! Huge stop by Grubauer. And they get the puck out of harm's way. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Colorado's got the puck shorthanded. They clear the zone. St. Louis has it behind the cage. Thomas plays it into the offensive zone. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. He'll need a new stick after his breaks. St. Louis has possession of the puck in the offensive end. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession, so key in today's game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Nice defensive robbery on that. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play.
Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. On their heels, trying to clear. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. And he comes up with it. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Taken along the wall by Cole. Quick feed to Nichuskin. With some open space at center. Nichuskin's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Colorado's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. If your power play's successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Slides the puck across to play. Great defensive effort with the stick. He was locked in there. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. That pass goes a little sideways. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. St. Louis gains the zone. The Blues played along the wing. Jostled off the puck. Colorado's in transition and tries to make a diagonal pass to Kadri. Some great thievery in the open ice. Nice poke check. Passes right to the front. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. He's able to work his way into the low slot to take that pass. He doesn't stop it, so the goalie can't catch up to it. Colorado's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will, in particular here in this second period. The Blues get a hold of the puck off the draw. Score on the power play by number 92. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Landeskog. Puck grabbed by Schwartz. Quick pass to Shen. Pushes it across to Fulk. They've got the defense outnumbered. Denied by the goaltender. Grubauer's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Puts it to the front of the net, and that's blocked. Stick save by Bennington. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Slides it over to Jost. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Fires it. Denied by the goaltender. Bennington's been dealing with these scoring chances like he is locked in tonight. Here it's a stick save. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Puck picked up by Falk. St. Louis plays it along the wing. The Blues have it against the wall. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. Just tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Turn that one aside. Jabs the puck away. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot, the guy goes down in your post every time. The Avs send their man advantage unit out once more. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. And they'll dump it in. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. The Blues have been called for hooking. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty Were you box. a haggler? Always. 
You never think it's the right call. Colorado's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. With such a long five on three power play in front of them, they can afford to be patient. Don't take the first shot, take the best shot. Now a quick pass to Pareko. Puck sent over to Krug. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Directed over to Kadri. Ahead of steam now towards the front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. No one home on that play. Shot on net, and that goes off the iron and stays out. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Here he is, shot right in front. Made the stop on the play. Dead center, excellent save. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. The Avs with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Joseph won the draw. Here's the shot! Scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Wow, did he snap that back clean. It's right on the tape of the shooter, and he hammers it home. The Avs don't seem to want this period to end here in the late stages of the second. No, this is fun time now. They're playing four lines and just rolling over top of them. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it to Steen. The Blues take it along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Folk. Too much congestion in front. And now it's grabbed by Steen. And he slides it quickly to Scandella. And now he angles it across to Sanford. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got... Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Here he is from the slot. Gives them nothing in front. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. The Blues don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Looks like he's not going to make contact. Then he chicken wings him and he gets nailed for elbowing. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Some nights the penalty killers have the upper hand. Some nights it's the power play. Well, tonight, the man advantage has been way better than the killers. Great poke check on the reach. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Landeskog. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And nearing the final minute of the second. Couldn't complete the play. Up along the wing. Off the left wing and into center. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Moves it over to Krug. And now he moves it quickly to O'Reilly. The Blues played along the boards. Takes the feed. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Got to give the penalty killers a lot of credit as the penalty expires. They did enough to kill this penalty off. It's not been a great night for them. It's been just an average one. Yet this time, they come out ahead. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. During the game, please remember to be alert at all times in our seating area. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next.
Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who was at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Colorado's focus now is just locked down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. Fires one. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Takes a bank in front. Denies him again. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Oh, he just got enough of that one to turn it aside. Colorado's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. The Blues win the draw. Here he is in front, right on the doorstep. Can't connect. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Across the line from center. Colorado's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Quick feed to Nijuskin. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Driving right to the front with the stop. Grubauer's gonna slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. O'Reilly's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Denies him on the one-timer. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Oh, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. While the power play hasn't worked, they're going to have to look at all kinds of options here if they get another one. Maybe change the people that go out on the power play. I often wonder what the coach thinks when he's walking behind the bench, James. I think he's just looking for new players. Quick pass to Dunn. Here they are on the attack. Keeps hold of the puck. Tries to the crease. Scores! Finally! Yeah, James, for the first time in a while, there's a little life on their bench. Maybe this can turn the tide a little bit. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. The Blues still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Bozak's won the draw. Score. Score by number seven. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Here's a short pass to Rantanen. Carries it across the line. Center down in front, and he whiffs on it. St. Louis moves it quickly along the wing. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Can't maintain possession. Bozak's caught with the hook, and the officials saw it. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Avs have been handed two minutes for hooking. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. Another chance here on the man advantage. There are times where this power plays look pretty dangerous tonight. Other times it looks like they're never going to get in the zone again. Taves takes it along the wing. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Taves. Good defensive effort to poke it away. A chance on goal and makes the save. 
Grubauer's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. St. Louis must be a little frustrated offensively. They've had plenty of good looks, but they still trail early in this third period. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. St. Louis has it near the wall. The Blues take it along the wall. Receives the pass. Moves it to Sanford. And that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They have done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. A sweet feed there. The butterfly pass goes across and the shooter doesn't miss. St. Louis is back at center ice and hungry maybe for more if they can get something. Yeah, they can't even stop here. The get your scorers out there, James. Attack, attack, attack. Hope your goalie makes a save if he needs to. Puck scooped up by Braves. Here's a chance. A two-on-one gets in front of it. Moves it quickly over to Landeskog. Good use of the body on the play. Quick pass over to Sanford. Picked up along the wall by McKinnon. Gets the puck over to Rantanen. St. Louis has possession of it now. Takes a shot, and that one's stopped. Grubauer's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. The Blues still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Kadri's taking it from his own end. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. The Blues will lose a man tripping the call. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. The Avs once again send out their power play unit. They've talked in the last week about really trying to be more aggressive on the power play. They were earlier on, and their coach has got to be pleased with the results so far. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Grubauer's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. The setters will glide into the dot. Nice job tying up his opponent. Moves right to the middle. Picks off the pass. Colorado's picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. And he comes up with a big stop. I can't do it better than that, James. That's a great stop. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Picked up along the boards by Bozak. Taves carries the puck in his own zone. The Avs play it along the boards. And it's a quick pass to Landeskog. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Quick feed to play. Excellent stick work on the play. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Feeds it to O'Reilly. Big play inside the defensive zone. Right to the middle. Stones him on the one-timer. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up a shorthanded goal. Maybe that sparks the other team a little bit. Couldn't complete the play. The Blues moving ahead. Big time defensive play. And he gains the zone here. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Answered the call there. Grubauer's all over this scoring chance. The slap shot really tests his reflexes. The Blues have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. St. Louis wins the draw. Puck battle along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Pass back to the point. Can't find his man. Oh! That hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as hard as he could. Goodness. Strong defensive effort. 
Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. McCarr swooping in on the attack. Sends it in deep. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. And now he moves it to Tarasenko. Smart defensive play there. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop by Grubauer. Penalty coming up. Aaron pass, and the play is broken up. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. And it looks like two minutes in the box for holding will be the call here. Well, he's got a mitt full of the guy's sweater. It's tough to argue That's that fair. one. Say. Power play unit going back to work. Lots of times you practice the power play, it looks great in practice. Then you get it into the game and it looks terrible. That's not been the case. They've been outstanding with the man advantage tonight. And the puck clears the zone. The Blues have it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And we've got a two-on-one. Oh, a clutch save! Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Takes the pass. Cuts to the front. And there's the save. Grubauer's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Pretty good work on the two-on-one. The defenseman gives the goalie the shooter, and he makes the save. The Blues have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Comfers won it in their own end. Who's the puck? McKinnon's picking up momentum through center. Pokes it away in his own end. And he regains control of the puck. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Dying seconds to this man advantage. They'll try to start it from here. Yeah, get it moving quickly up the ice. Get into the zone. See if you can get puck to the net really quickly. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Natruskin's teammates kill off the penalty. Well, somehow they worked their way through that last power play. The penalty killers get the job done. It's not been a very smooth night for them. Now a quick pass to Schwartz. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Dunn. And he slides it quickly to Schwartz. Grabbed along the board by Johnson. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. The Avs take it across the line. St. Louis will play it from behind the net. Nothing doing on that. Just slide. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick pass to O'Reilly. And now it's over to play. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it over, and they can't connect. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. From the left side, they gain the zone. Here's a short pass to Kadri, and he denied that opportunity. The centermen glide into position. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. St. Louis has been the better team. They've had more scoring opportunities and yet they trail in the third. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Here's a chance. Whiffs on that. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Saad's caught up with the hook, and the official saw it. And let's see what the call is. This is a good old-fashioned hooking the call here. He looked like he was water skiing. Man, you got to move your feet. You get your stick around his waist, you'll get called. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Here's another power play for them, James. They've already scored on the power play tonight, so they must have some pretty good feel for it. They also have to be aware the penalty killers will adjust. They will have to, too. Colorado's got it in their own zone. McCarr's got it across the line. Right out front, and that one's broken up. 
The Blues take it along the wing. On the doorstep with the stop. Grubauer's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. The Blues are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Colorado's playing it through center. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 He scores! Oh, I love getting on a breakaway, James. You're over front, and if you've got confidence, you've got to sell your move and finish it off. Oh, he zipped that right past the goalie. He didn't even think about a deke. That's a quick shot. The Avs have really opened it up here in the third period. Impressive offensive performance. It's coming from everybody. They've kept their foot on the gas. It's been in a relentless offensive attack. Moves it to Saad. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Centering pass. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Bennington. Sharp reaction save. Saad's exploring options with the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Hey, buddy, you got the lead. Play safe. Moves it quickly over to Schwartz. And that one's broken up. Colorado's moving it up the ice. And he can't hang on after that hit. Oh, and he slowed him up, and the official's right there all over it. Slides the puck down low. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. Let's get the official decision. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the call. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. No room for that one to get through. And the defenseman will head off as the puck is sent in deep. Colorado's looking to break out. Steps into the offensive end. Taken by Comper. In close. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. St. Louis has had a lot of good looks on net, and yet they trail late in this third period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Blaze got it along the boards. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Blues have it in the offensive end. Jost got it in the defensive end. Colorado's got it in the offensive zone. Move to the middle. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Grant and his eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Quick feed to Steen. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up Steen. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. The Blues are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. The Avs have a brief five-on-three looming. Kadri's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Stops him cold! 19 minutes, 24 seconds. St. Louis has it in their own end. Folks, stick handling in his own zone. Sends it in on the attack. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he coughs it up with the pass. 
Colorado's got the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Ninchuskin. Nice pass. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Good hands up play in the defensive zone. Denies him in front. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. That's all she wrote from this one. Well, a big win tonight. Can they do it two more times, though? Well, they can't even worry about two more times. Can they do it one more time? At 3-1, now they've got a chance to try and really get themselves in the series with another game. Great playoff action tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll talk to you next time where the fun will continue.